Kingston, Carolina, running back, class of 2025, St. Francis football and rugby. You just got an offer from Arizona. What's what's that like for you to, to get a D1 offer for the first time? Uh, for me, it's like motivation, you know. Motivate me to like, I have ex uh, expectations for me now, I have goals, and I need to achieve it. So it's just motivation for me to get better every day. Where does that come from in terms of a relationship with coach, camps that you went to out there? How do you feel like this evolved and, and Arizona was the first school to step up? Um, I feel like Coach Cal does a great job like getting us players out there. And um, I've been to several camps in Arizona and Arizona, so it's, uh, very thankful. Yeah. What do you feel like is, is the thing that you're trying to prove this upcoming season after obviously doing really well last year? I feel like you need to prove that like I'm capable of playing on the next level mm -hmm. and just, yeah. Is it, I got to pick up blocks better, I got to improve my speed, my strength. What are some things you're working on here in the offseason in terms of like your workouts mm -hmm. and like skill set stuff that you know you can control individually? Um, this offseason I'm working a lot of like picking my feet up, getting faster, a lot of bag drills. Um, I'm also lifting, uh, power lifting with Coach Doherty and East Paul also getting stronger. How many brothers you got here? Um, at St. Francis, I got two right now, but in all, I got five other brothers. Yeah, and, and your dad is on the coaching staff as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so how tired of your dad do you get? Because you hear it here, you hear it at home, and then mm -hmm. you got to give it to your brothers. Like, do you just want to, are there times where you're like, dude, just dad, I'll see you at practice. Leave me alone. <laughs> I wish I can do that, but you know, um, he's my right here, he's my right back. So, <laughs> so you got to hear it at practice and in the car and at home. So yeah, every 24 seven. But how, honestly, like, for, for so many people at your age, myself included, to not have that kind of like fatherly guidance and advice. I'm sure there's times where you're, where you're tired of it, but you also know how lucky you are, right? Yeah, like, I'm like forever thankful for it. Like, yeah. he's, he's always on me, which I appreciate, because sometimes I, I get lazy and then like he's just there to check me and just keep it pushing for me. Yeah. When I went to high school, I was, I was a freshman, my brother was a senior, and I felt like A, it helped me get acclimated and more comfortable right away, but B, I knew that I wanted to not make him look bad. Uh, how much do you think of not only respecting your older brothers, but also laying the foundation for the ones that come behind? Um, so last year, um, I was able to play with my older brother um, on varsity, and like he said, like he's the example for me, like the expected expectation I have to, as he leaves St. Francis, like set for my, my younger brothers coming in. Tell me, like he's the one who got me into like lifting and working out and stuff. So like when I see my brothers laying around, I'm like, come on, y'all, let's get outside, let's work. We got we got stuff to do. Like and now they're up here running, 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 bleachers, running yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I was able to to go to Australia and watch um, Aussie rules, but for there's obviously not been a, a huge history of rugby in, in the Bay Area and California mm -hmm. in general. What was it like for you to play rugby? How do you feel like that? skill set translates to the football field. One thing I really noticed is like in rugby you want to keep it forward, you want to keep moving forward. So I think that really helped me on the football field like uh, like when going down like push forward like what was it like? Because this was the first year you guys have had this, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it was yeah. it was like it was great. Um, I played rugby for six years but being able to rep, uh, rep, represent St. Francis playing it, it was like an honor like and we know a lot of other players like from Sarah and yeah. um, Bellerman that play, they play for like East Palo Alto, so it was just like good being able to represent our schools and play rugby. Uh, how, how excited are you about the season? You know the work that you guys are putting in now and you will continue to do, but the Rage Cage and what this place is like on, on a Friday night for a West Catholic City game, how excited are you for that kind of stuff? I want this next game to be this Friday. I want to just keep going, keep going, let's go. Was there like a moment where you're like, you knew you had it in you, but you felt like you showed your your teammates, who, like the fans are, are are amazing, but I'm sure you care more about what your, your teammates and coaches feel and believe about you as opposed to outside noise. Mm -hmm. Was there a moment where you're like, okay, I finally got to show them what I knew I had inside of me, where there was a game moment, a play or whatever that you remember? I think it was my first game back from my like, MCL sprain and then it was against Bellamy and then it was like my 15 yard touchdown and then I like and then uh, Talano Hufanga here from the Niners was here too 
And then I remember just coming to Thailand and everybody's like, yes sir, yes sir. I was like, oh yeah. I think that was like one of the most unique moments in my career for me. Good stuff, people. That was great. Nice work. Thank you. That was fun.